chapter number 7 volume before we are going to start let's study that what is volume volume the volume of a solid is the amount of space it occupies the volume of one unit cube is one cubic unit all the sides of a unit cube are of equal length like we have volume 1 unit, 1 unit, 1 unit, so 1 multiply 1 multiply 1 is 1 cubic centimeter. Here we have 1 liter is 1000 milliliter, 1 centimeter cubic centimeter is 1 milliliter and 100 milliliter is 100 centimeter cube. Page number 144, here we have question number 2. Solid A is made up of 4 unit cube and has a volume of 4 cubes solid b is made up of let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 unit cube and has the volume of 6 cubic unit solid b is larger volume than solid a because solid a is 4 and solid b is 6 so solid b has a larger volume than a page number 146 question number 6 is the four solids are made up of unit cubes here you can see compare their volume you may use these shapes to help so here how many unit cubes are there in each solid solid a one two three four five six solid b one two three four five c one two three four five six seven eight nine and solid D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 2 on that side, 9, 10. The volume of solid B is smaller than solid A. B is smaller than A. Volume of solid C is greater than A. Arrange the solids in increasing orders, starting from the lowest. B, A, 5, 6, 9, and 10. B, A, C, D. Page number 148. Here we have to write these solid shows are, ma are made up of unit cubes. What is the volume of each solid? So we just have to count the units and write. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here we have 2 layers. So we have to count the first layer and then we add the second layer because these cubes are on layers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 on the upper layer and 12 on the lower layer so 12 plus 12 24 then we have to count c here we have 1 2 3 3 here 3 in this line 6 7 8 9 and 10 here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 here we have 13, 4 here and 3, 3, 3, 9 on the lower side. Some cubes and cuboid are drawn on the isometrical grid. Here you can see this is an isometric grid. Which of these are cube and which of these are cuboid? Explain your answer. So B and C are cube. Cube are of square shape and cuboid are of rectangle shape. Two sides opposite sides are equal and in cube cube we have all four sides are equal so b and c are cube a and d are cuboid here we just have to complete the shape by drawing the missing lines page number 152 practice here we have to draw these shapes in the copy like you can see i have drawn these shape in the copy like here here we have to draw the lines and complete the pattern page number 154 here we have the solid below are made up of one centimeter cube find the volume of each solid here we have to find the volume one two three four five six so one centimeter cube volume is six here we have count eight and eight here we have to count one one meter cube so we have total eight cubes and the volume is eight page number 57 157 one meter cube were used to make a cube of H3. What is the volume of the cube? So we have to write length, breadth and height. 
one two three one two three and one two three so length breadth and height is three 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 is a nine nine three is a twenty seven count the number of one centimeter cube in all the layers is the result same as the result here so as we can see we have total three layers and in each layer we have one nine nine plus nine plus nine twenty seven here we have to write again length breadth and height length breadth and height then we have to multiply the numbers again we have to write length breadth and height then multiply the numbers page number 158 here we have to count the cubes and write the volume 1 cm cube 8 we have 8 1 cm cube so the volume is 8 10 6 and 7 find the volume of each solid to find the volume we multiply the length breadth and height so we have 2 here 2 here and 2 here so 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 here we have 5 here we have 2 and here we have 4 5 4 2 so we get the answer 10 5 4 length breadth and height 35 20 and 10 so we have the answer here we find the length breadth and height then we have to multiply the number length is here breadth is here and this is the height this is the length this is the breadth and this is the height now here we have to express the following in cubic centimeter it means we have to write centimeter cube so we have 250 milliliter milliliter will remain same in cubic centimeter but with liter and milliliter we convert it into centimeter cube 2150 right in the same place and then liter and milliliter will convert into cubic centimeter milliliter will remain same here we have 12 liter 5 milliliter 12 liter and here we have 5 because we have 100 in centimeter so we are going to write 5 on the last digit here we have liters and li milliliters we have to write numbers in liters and milliliter centimeter will convert into milliliter centimeter convert into liter and milliliter here we have on no liters because we have only three digit here we have four digit so we take one digit in liter and remaining three in milliliter here we have liter and then we have 5000 milliliter or 5 liter 12 liter 60 milliliter here we have to multiply and write the answer centimeter cubic centimeter will remain same in milliliter one cubic centimeter is one millimeter so it means 520 is 520 here we have again cubic centimeter same in milliliter and if we separate this in liter so we have one liter 280 milliliters same as it is we have to solve here we multiply all the numbers and then separate them here we have Volume of water in the tank at first, 28 liter minus 10 liter. So we have 18 liter at first. Here again we have to convert. Milliliter will remain same in cubic centimeter. But liter and milliliter will join. 2785 centimeter cube. Here we have milliliter into centimeter cubic. Here we have to join. Here we have to separate into liter and milliliter. If we have 4 digit, we have to take first as a liter and the remaining as a milliliter. If we have 5 digit, we take 2 as liter and the remaining 3 digit as milliliter. It means that in milliliter, we have 3 digits because milliliter is 100 and cubic centimeter is also 100. 3 digit and 3 digit. Page number 163, question number 3 is... A bottle is completely filled with cooking oil. Here you can see the bottle. Mrs. Tan pour all the oil from the bottle into the rectangular container. Here is the bottle and Mrs. Tan pour this oil into the container. 
measuring 14 cm by 10 cm by 25 cm 14 10 and 25 the oil fills the container to the height of 15 cm here you can see oil is only 15 cm what is the capacity of the bottle so to find out the capacity of the bottle we just have to use the amount of oil in the container the total capacity in the container is 25 but we just find the capacity of this bottle so we only find the amount of oil so we multiply length breadth and height length breadth and height 14 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 15 so when we multiply 14 and 10 and 15 we get the answer 2100 so the total capacity of the bottle is 2100 cubic cent cubic meter square here we have number four a tank measure 30 centimeter by 10, 12 centimeter by 15 centimeter 30 12 and this 15 is filled with the water to the height of 10 centimeter the only height of the water is 10 how much more water is needed to fill the tank completely so we have to find that how much water is needed to fill this side and we have to express the answer in liter and milliliter so first we have to find the amount of this side from the total is 15 and already filled is 10 so we have 10 minus 15 minus 10 is 5 it means this is 5 centimeter now we are going to use this 5 as a height this side height so we have length breadth and height 30 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 5 length breadth and height so 30 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 5 is 1800 1800 cubic meter and cubic meter will convert it into milliliter and then after milliliter we have to convert in liter and milliliter it means we take one as a liter and 800 as a milliliter so this is the complete explanation of chapter volume in book 5